Hello everyone, I'm ExtraFeasy87 and this is Let's Play Yaki 4 Part 39. In the previous video we did uh, Kiryu stuff. What sort of stuff did we do Kiryu? We did some ramen adventures. I think that was in the last video. Then we went to Bantam and then we ran into a, a really good sub story with a lady who was very mad at Kiryu. Um, that was cool. What do we want to do now? Well... We could go to the Dragon Palace, see what's there. We could also go to the Dragon Palace and see Kamaki. There's Yuya's stuff. Actually, I think we did Yuya, because I think it was Ramen two videos ago. And maybe we just did the, the intro to Yuya's thing in the last video. It doesn't really matter, but... Um, I don't know what I want to do. I mean, What do I do for Yuya's thing? Shinya may have a point there. I don't even know how to progress that. Do I just go back? Because from what I remember is like we went in, we talked to Kazuki, and then we just like got teleported out and I left. Maybe if we go back, there will be some sort of development. Hello, are we on special patrol? We're on special patrol. Are you, are you always here? Here, the president of Sky Finance got hauled in by the caps not too long ago. Sounds like they let him off the hook right away, though. Guess that means he didn't do anything wrong. Or oh, he paid him off. Oh, I can't go in. Well, that dude's gonna fight me. And I prefer it when I'm not fault. Actually, you know what we can do? We can go sell our platinum bands from the last sub story. Screw my boss. Damn true, buddy. Damn true. Just gonna pop on. Oh, there's a literally a cop right in front of you, man. It's gonna pop on over to the store. Hmm? What the hell are you doing here, man? If somebody spots you, my whole plan's gonna get blown out the water. I know, I know. I just wanted to see you so bad. Yeah, whatever. Like, that's supposed to make it okay. Fucking shit. Everything's going all wrong. Man, I just got a feeling that some sort of head honcho of the Yakuza Tojo clan is going to get on my case and figure out that I'm trying to commit some scams. A host that lose five mils should get his ass kicked to the curb, not caught like a goddamn codler, toddler. I knew you were spineless, but I didn't realize just how much of a cow- Oh yeah, this is- you're the- I was thinking you were the Mitsuru guy. No, you're Shinya. You're the, you're the guy who was making the fuss, who I guess wants to get Mitsuru fired. Okay, so you're you're not actually- Yuya is right, and Mitsuru is not trying to scam them. Shinya Kun, are you saying I didn't help? What are you, stupid? You're fucking useless. If Mitsuru doesn't get tossed out on his ass, what the hell was the point in you posing as a customer? Shinya-kun. Don't Shinya-kun me. Everywhere I go, it's always Mitsuru this and Mitsuru that. Nobody shuts their mouth about fucking Mitsuru. Everyone wants to fuck Mitsuru. <laughs> God damn it, there's gotta be something I can do. Aru. Looks like Kazuki was spot on. Huh. The hell's your problem, man? You're Shinya from Stardust, right? Don't know what you're fucking talking about, old man. No step the hell off. I'm not that old. Look, just cut the crap and come with me. Shinya-kun, Shinya-kun, I think you overheard us. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I let him hear. I can floor an old bitch like this just, just one little punch. You hear that, man? Better get lost if you know what's good for you. Sorry, I'm not going anywhere. I think you need a little lesson on what it means to be a friendly host. Talk all you want, big man. You're not gonna keep running your mouth when you're six feet under. There's literally a cop right up the road. Not that Q.U. needs the cops, but... I'm saying, as soon as I see somebody do that, I give up. As soon as I see him do like a fucking spinning front flip kick, it's over with. I'm done. The hell, man? Shinya-kun, are you okay? 
Aw, oh, man. My fucking spleen exploded. I don't know what it's for, but it's probably important, man. I think I need it. Yuya, I have someone here you might want to talk to. But, like, don't don't teleport me back because I need to sew my wedding band. Thank you. Thank you for coming to me. I don't get it, Shinya. Why would you do something like this? I don't got an answer to you. Shinya. How are you going to respond, Yuya? Listen up, Shinya. You're going to pay out the five million you try to pay. I mean, I feel like you should be fired. <laughs> well, I mean, you should pay it off, but then you should be fired. Anyone who's like, I'm going to try and scam the club out of money so that I can get a co-worker fired because I'm jealous of them. That seems like a pretty you're on your ass type of offense. And you're going to tell Mitsuru what you did. Whether or not the other hosts hear about it, it's up to him. Oh, and don't even think about running away. One way or the other, you're cleaning this mess up. Don't forget who's the manager, you hear? Screw with us like this again? You'll be sorry. I guarantee it. Don't make me break out my trench coat. Like hell I will, and I got another piece of knowledge for you. I'm dumb as stardust. You want your lousy five mil? Fine, I'll pay it. <laughs> but I'm never stepping foot in your bullshit club again. Shinya. I was never in this host business for the money. All I wanted was to be the best host of Kamurocho, just like Kazuki. But once I got in the biz, I found out everyone was just a bunch of half-assed little fakers. The only thing anybody cares about is showing off. Um, yeah, you're a host. What, what do you think you're supposed to do? You're supposed to show off and be flashy so that people want to hang out with you and give you money. I was supposed to sit back and let those poses run the roost. They don't even got the first clue about what it means to be a host. What does it mean to be a host? And that's why you set Mitsuru up, huh? Damn right. He barely lifts a fucking finger. All he gets is praise. Praise, praise, praise. I just can't fucking take it anymore. Shinya. I've had enough, man. Later. Or whatever. Seriously, I need to go to the hospital. My spleen is fucked. Hold on. What now, man? I'm not trying to force you out of the club. Believe it or not, I like you. You serious right now? And I agree with you. There's nothing worse than a host that comes in just looking to pick up a pay. What the fuck are you talking about? They're, they're employees, man. That The paycheck is what they're here for. Barely giving a shit about the club they're working for. Unless you're giving them stocks, okay? Unless you got like a really good stock option plan. There is no reason for the employee to care about the success of the business. Okay? If they're not invested and in reaping a percentage of the profits, they do just come in for the paycheck. But the business is all about results. Sometimes guys who can't even tell left from right can end up the most popular host in a club. It's all about what brings in business. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let him finish. I know you get all burned up about it. But sometimes you just gotta keep your chin up and hang tough. As the manager, all I'm trying to do is give the guys who are just as serious as I am the foothold they need to make the next step up. Huh. So? You still want to give it a shot after this? I'll do what I can to get you back on your feet. I mean, I don't. Is it really? Is it Mitsuru's fault that he's popular without trying? I mean, not really. I mean, he's giving the people what they want. It's incredible just how much he's grown as a manager. <laughs> Boss, I, I'm. This is it. I'm dying. I seriously need to get to the hospital. I don't know what the fuck that old guy did, but my internal organs are fucked. Shinya Kun? Please give me my job back. I'll do anything. I mean it. Well, fine. Let's go. I would not bring this guy back. I want Mitsuru to hear everything that happened, straight from you. And if I was Mitsuru, I would not want to work with this guy. Right, I'm ready. But the guy running the top host club in Camarocho is just a big softy, huh? Kinda refreshing if you ask me. <laughs> Fair 
expressions right. Uh, Substory lover! We got an achievement. C complete or finish 40 substories. Complete or finish. Yuya handled that the only way you knew how to, and it looks like that one guy, Shinya, took a step in the right direction, too. I think you will be just fine from now on. I guess it says complete or finish. Like, maybe finishing is when you don't get the gold star, but completing is when you do. Like, on, um... Apparently, you can win the Russian Roulette. I don't... I mean... It seems like it's literally just random chance, which... Is fitting. I should have forgot about that sub story with Saijima. The the woman who ran away down to like the I figure where she went. I think that was why I didn't do it, because I couldn't remember where she went. <laughs> I wanna say she went down to like to the underground, but Alright, with all this talk about well, first things first, we gotta sell our thing. And then with all this talk about the club. Is this it? Oh. For some reason, that storefront looks like it sells noodles. I'm here to sell. I mean, relatively cheap, all things considered. I mean, granted, I don't think you should spend a ton of money on rings. I've, that's a very strange thing people do. I've never gotten it. Bro, there's literally, you ran past a cop to try and beat us up. <laughs> Shit don't make any goddamn sense. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we should go to the... Now that we have funds, we can, we can hit up the club. Nah, nah, man. Let's see if we remember anybody here. Okay, I'm I'm here to complete my sub story, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no preference. I mean, I've mostly enjoyed the little cabaret club scenes with Tani Mura and. What's his name? Oh, I, I I remember you. You're the Brazil lady. <laughs> exactly. You're not touching that damn cigarette. It's the strongest flame in the world. Doesn't even need to be near the cigarette. Name's Rio. Nice to meet you. Kazuma Kiryu. Likewise. Or whatever. How old are you, Kiryu-san? What the hell? <laughs> That's, you can't just ask that as your first question. Um, 41? I'll be 42 this year. Is that a problem? Really? Older men like you are pretty interesting. I bet you've been through a lot in your life. That's probably true of anybody my age. True, I tend to find many evil who put up a brave front are actually hiding painful past experiences. <laughs> are you gonna trauma dump for me? Uh, when I catch a glimpse of that, I just suddenly feel even more attached to that person. So. I see. Seems a little unhealthy. Miss Himeka? Hope you don't mind me joining you. Do you play table tennis at all? <laughs> no. Table tennis? I sometimes play when I go to the hot springs. Oh, I love the hot springs. Table tennis is a lot more fun when you're wearing a yukata. I play quite a lot. You can almost say I'm a bit addicted. Oh, yeah. I didn't really fucking get the game, man. It was really hard. I kept hitting the ball and they kept hitting it back. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised to hear that you play table tennis as a hobby. Don't girls normally play regular tennis? <laughs> Maybe. I think table tennis is way more fun. Uh, you might be right. This has been requested. Okay. We've been ditched. Alright, you said your name was Himika? Um, Kazuma Kiryu. Hello, Kiryu-san. Nice to meet you, too. Are you from Kansai, by any chance? I am. How do you feel about girls with Kansai accidents? Ki accents. <laughs> Kansai accidents? 
Kiri-san. Ah, I fell for a girl with a con from Kansai once. Really? It's cool you can just talk about your old girlfriends like that. Uh, she fucking... Omega tier died. Remember when Millennium Tower blew up? No, I presume he's talking about Yumi. I'm surprised I remember her name. It is Yumi, right? I'm pretty sure that's her name. I said that with such confidence, and then immediately I'm like, why am I so confidently saying I remember anybody's name? Okay, we're lucky I even know who the fuck Kiryu is. You seem like the serious type, not like the men in Osaka. Yeah. That can't be entirely sh true. Sure, many comedians are from Osaka, but there must be serious men there as well. Mmm, uh. probably. I'm not much into that type of man, so... You like a man with a sense of humor? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. They're the most fun to talk to. I see. <laughs> Kiryu just walks out. Holding back tears. Got double rejected. Even the women he paid to like him are like, nah, you're a loser. What up? I'm Kazuma Kiryu. You may have heard of me. Uh, hello Kiryu-san, pleased to meet you. You're certainly well-mannered and proper. Do you prefer girls who are more casual, Kiryu-san? Yeah. No, not exactly. It's just rare to see a girl with her natural hair color in a place like this. What the hell you... You made me curious. That's true, now you mention it. You're the only one here with black hair, Shizuka-san. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I do stand out a bit. What do you... Maybe, maybe, uh, Himika's hair just looks like that. I'm not quite used to working here, I'm afraid. You'll have to forgive me if I don't meet your expectations. Um. Yeah, he likes black hair the most. Actually, I like black hair the best. The traditional Japanese look is attractive. <laughs> really? Thank you. I bet you look good in a kimono. Perhaps. I don't give me any chances to wear them. I'd like to see you wearing one once sometime. That sounds great. I want to see Shizuka-chan in a kimono too. I have to ask the manager if I can dress up in a kimono once in a while. I hope you look forward to it. Great. <laughs> what the hell is... What is that? Oh, it's like a little spoon. Why is it... It looks so weird. I like your stubble, Kiryu-san. You like guys with stubble? What the hell? What, what am I doing with my life? Yeah, if we're being truthful, I'd love to see you with a beard. Oh, and glasses. You like men with beards, Shizuku-chan. Wow, I had no idea. I see. Unfortunately, I don't need to put on glasses. I've got pretty good vision. The best vision. Oh, well, I put on glasses when I do things such as reading. Do you read a lot, kiryu -san? Um... Uh, does Kiryu read? I don't think so. I don't think Kiryu reads. Yeah. I'm not much of a reader. Warriors don't read books. I'm so busy with work, I don't have much time for books. I see. That's quite unfortunate. Plus, reading books is more expensive than watching TV. I don't really have enough monies for luxury like that. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't... <laughs> My man doesn't have money for books, but he has money to... Go to the club. Kiryu's got his his forty year old life goals straight. Yeah, each book isn't that expensive, but you can finish reading them pretty quickly. I know. Have you tried going to a library? A library? I've never heard of such a concept. Not a bad idea. Let me know if there's a good book you recommend. Of course. Guess it's about that time. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing uh, Chickadee is the one for Kiryu, because I guess each character has one girl that they have more interactions with. I didn't really pick up on that until now, but yeah. Maybe I'll request her next time. 11. Yeah, Kiryu can't buy a damn book. Hope to see you again. Be careful on your way home. Absolutely not. We are the danger. Or something like that. 
my favorite part reading text messages what the hell it's so normal <laughs> nothing for me to for me it's just it's your regular text what the hell shizuka here thank you for visiting very much today or thank you very much for visiting today uh, i'm so sorry i got so silly what that was silly we only just met after all i'd love to see you again if you get the chance that's all for today goodbye end wasn't even a wasn't even a damn emoji which granted and that's how i text i'm not i'm not an emoji person any um many sub stories on the on the upper levels you know you could go up the stairs can you lived in the city like basically your whole life this mf has never been on the roof before well, that's not true sometimes he goes on the roof in cutscenes and you could you could go on like limited roofs in some of the games because i remember i don't remember which game it was i think it was in kiwami one or two walking around the roof of uh the batting center and falling off and having a slight panic attack when i was like i'm gonna fucking die i'm gonna fucking die and then i was like oh, wait there's no fall damage in this game <laughs> Which provided an opportunity for the the joke I make in literally every series that they didn't they didn't program fall damage in, so it's okay when somebody falls off a large height. I think I think every single game I've ever let's played, I've had a chance to to make that joke. What? The camera show god. What the hell is that? You superheroes or something? Why ha ha? No more! Huh? What the? A bunch of thugs? That's enough. Seeing weak fools like you trying to act big just pisses me off. Who the hell are you, old man? You better stay the fuck out of our business. I mean, Kiryu doesn't look that old. Like, 40 is, like, old, but, you know. Kiryu doesn't even really look 40. He could pass for 30. The weaklings like you picking on even weaker guys is called business now? Sounds like pretty shitty business to me. What'd you say? I don't know who you think you are, Gramps, but you're fixing to get a lesson in the art of ass kicking. Like, honestly, this dude in the jacket looks older than Kiryu. Granted, I guess that's just like the main character privilege. Like, Kiryu has more work put into his model and everyone else is like a potato. Alright then, let the lesson start. Shut in fight already. I'm like you guys picking on small fries and my thing. <laughs> Come on, let's break this guy's mouth so we don't have to hear it anymore. Alex hot dog. Hot dog. Uh this man just did a fucking flying spinning front kick. I'm out. He's also got a uh, red flames coming off of him. I think I'm gonna head out. Now we're still sauced up. I don't know. We're just sauced up because we just got out of the club. Not not from like three videos ago when we drank alcohol. I think you're gonna get away with this man. There are no consequences for stepping on insects like you. Damn. Fucking got their ass. That's a nuclear level burn. You don't know you're messing with. You just made enemies with the Camarocho Aqua Devils. The rest of our team is already on the lookout for you, de ass. You ain't getting off easy. Pokemon team name sounding ass. Aqua Devils. I heard that you helped one of our members. Ah, you're Kiryu-san. I had a feeling it was you. You're back in town. Who the f Do we know you? I mean, I remember you from Tani Mura's stuff, but am I was I supposed to know you already? And you are... Ah, how rude of me. I am Akashi. Or Akashi. From the Kemurocho Guard. We volunteer our efforts in order to maintain peace and order in Kemurocho. You guys suck at your job, by the way. 
I had no idea of you meeting such a legend when I woke up this morning. I've heard so many things about you. It's an honor. So you just, you know him, but we don't know you. I would like to offer you something as thanks for helping us out. Don't need it. I just didn't want to see that go any further. By the way, who are those guys? A gang with growing influence in the area. A gang, huh? For the most part, things were relatively quiet when you were here. But after you left, what are you talking? Relatively quiet. Every seven seconds, people were trying to fight me, man. Young gangs like that began to multiply. They don't like what we do and take every chance they get to take us down. We've been trying to reason with them, but to no avail. They're still too small to carry out any real preventative measures. I see. You guys have your work cut out for you. Alright, see, I'm gonna go play, uh, Blastia 2 or whatever. At the arcade. Uh, we'll do anything to make the city we love a better place, but honestly, times in Kamurocho are tough. Either way, this isn't good, Kyu-san. What you just did back there made you a target as well. It would appear so. That's nothing for you to worry about. I don't plan on bothering them, but I don't plan to forgive them either if they try and start something with me. And if they learn their lesson after I'm through, then it's better business for you, right? You have a point there, but we were the reason the fight even started. Let us assist you, Kyu-san. Assist me? Are you suggest that we fight together? I don't think that's necessary. I see. Okay, then. How about letting me pay you for helping get rid of that gang? Pay me? Nah, sorry. I don't feel good about taking money from volunteers. But I appreciate the offer. No, please. We got our funding from activities from various places. I had planned to use it to hire some professionals, actually. But I think you alone are equal to a dozen infantry troopers. Please help us, Kyu-san. All right. You insist, I guess I'll accept the offer. Thank you. Thank you. After today, you're bound to see more of the gang come out and target you. Please be careful. Until next time. Oh no. We just opened ourselves up to random encounters. How's this movie? Like a little kid in the forest. Visitors, all oh, goddamn damn aliens. Is that. Can't really read any of the names. And that almost looks like it's supposed to be in English. I, I see like Rachel. But nah. Like Johnny Hot Dog or whatever didn't uh wasn't involved. Penguin. And what's the other one? See a soccer ball? Or a football? Is it's more commonly known? A a footy, if you will. Oh, you're dusted. You got no shot, okay? This man's dusted. He's not paying attention. He's got... Oh, my God. He's, he's so strong. He's the strongest man. Fight me. This is a, this is a formal challenge. What happened to your phone? I know. He, he's got it still. He's powerful. Oh, you just straight fell down. What? Excuse me? Where are they ass kicked? You spawned in gang members. Bro, there's so many. Oh, he's got a damn taser. You're lucky. You're you're so lucky even. They call him the lightning god. That's another thing. You tase my ass? I'm down. I'm down. Okay? There will not be any... Oh, I'm gonna get back up and keep fighting. Oh, you're still alive? Well, you were. Still Q, you punched you so hard your liver exploded. Stop playing, man. Dude's bloody as hell. We can't take it anymore. We won't do anything like that again. I got damn brain damage. Okay. 
Let's uh, save it up, save it up. You didn't get my ass this time, game. I remembered that I have no save slots. What do we want to do? Okay, there's another sub story down there at Stardust. Let's get into the batting cages. Pop by there, see what the hell's going on. Yeah, I heard someone saw Bob over the baseball sitting just now. Uh, should I know who that is? Ah, come on, you can't tell me you don't know Baba. He's super famous. Kim can pitch like you wouldn't believe. What do they call him again? Was it change up? Maybe screwball? You're asking the wrong guy. Huh, there's a celebrity over at the batting center. That's where that weird message told me to go too. I mean, there was that sub story in the last game with the dude. You had to do like some batting or whatever. Kazuma Kyuyu-san, yes? Who's asking? <laughs> My name is of no importance. I take it you read the email. Yes, please step inside. Guess I'm going in. Oh. Kyuyu, I've been waiting. Do I know you? <laughs> I'm not surprised you don't remember me, but I've had you in my brain nonstop these past four years. Four years? Uh, don't tell me you forgot what you said to me. Uh, you felt like swinging a bat around and we were gonna be the curveballs. I mean, Kiryu has fought people in the batting cages. I don't really remember you. Four years ago? Would that be Kiyoami 2? Because five years ago would be one. If you say so, I say a lot of things to a lot of punks. <laughs> I just had a hardcore line earlier where I said it's okay to step on insects. That didn't jog your memory, but the name stuck with me forever since. I've had guys call me Curveball for years. Think, man, you got in a fight here with a gang called the Bee Kings and I'm their leader? I was at least. I mean, that vaguely sounds familiar. Ah, right. You're the one who went after Takashi when he tried to leave the gang. Takashi. Was he the florist's son or was that somebody else? Oh, you're just some random punk. Looks like you've done pretty well for yourself in the meantime. Think of those of your fans outside? You bet they are. I take it you don't keep up with this kind of stuff, so let me fill you in. These days, everyone knows me as a professional baseball superstar, KSK Baba. I made more TV appearances than I can remember. Oh, cool or whatever. Yeah, in other words, I don't have a lot of open slots in my schedule. Yet here I am asking you out to a dump like this. You know why? You said in your message you wanted to settle things? That's right. It's been gnawing at me all this time. You tried to make me out to be the bad guy back in the day, but Takashi's the one who made the wrong choice. That's when I decided I was going to prove that I was right. Everyone needed to know the truth. So you started playing baseball. I don't think I see the connection. Of course you don't. You see, the very concept of right boils down to nothing more than whatever the powerful say it is. And you've seen those self-help books where successful people tell you how to be successful yourself, right? Having power makes everything you do valid, man. As long as you're powerful, right and wrong don't matter to you. Everything you do becomes right. And whatever came before is just a step on your path to success. I mean, you're not necessarily wrong. Like, I mean, there's a hint of truth to that. So by becoming rich and famous, I'm proving that all the choices I made up till now were the right ones. Uh, that's the same kind of logic that got your crown knocked off in the first place, B-King. Finally remembered, huh? Good. Uh, so what now? Don't tell me you want to slug it out again. I told you, I'm a major leaguer now. And there's only one way major leaguers settle thing. With a bat and a ball. Here, I'll make the rules simple for you. I throw 10 pitches, and if you can get a clean hit off even one of them, you'll win. Fair enough? Sounds pretty generous. I can close my eyes and swing randomly. I'd probably still hit at least one. 
Not against my secret weapon, you can't. Swing all you want against my twisted curve, you'll come up empty every time. Are you gonna say it before you throw, like, uh... You're, you're a damn anime character? I'd, I'd be disappointed if he doesn't go... I'm not gonna yell twisted curve, okay? I refuse. Okay, I did that way too early. What the? It was like a win. <laughs> you really something, you know that? Most pros can't even sniff on that pitch, and here you are whacking it out like it was a freaking softball. Oi. Hey, Mike. Yes. Yes. Yes, Baba san. Give me a ticket to Tibet. I gotta do some baseball soul searching. Looks like I gotta embrace my inner curveball. What about your TV interview? Or the piece you're going to appear in for that magazine? Cancel them. I mean it. Next time I see you, Kiryu san, I'm gonna be a changed man. Don't you forget it. But I'm not off to go shaking up my style because of one little loss. If anything, I just have to dive deeper into what I've already got going. I mean, my logic's not all there, whatever, but I'll show you I got the goods. Anytime. You bring the most twisted curveball you can throw and I'll still knock it straight back at you. Just call me Kirby like that. Yeah, right. Later. Who? Kazuma Kiryu-san, was it? That's me. Allow me to thank you. Baba-san has truthfully been in quite a massive slump lately. He actually sucks shit these days. I can barely believe how excited and full of energy he is now. It seems Baba-san really looks up to you. If you ever run into him again, I'm sure it would mean a lot if you gave him another run for his money. Didn't he say he was going to Tibet? I don't think we're going to be in town long enough for him to go to Tibet, do some soul searching, and come back. A chunk of wood. <laughs> Chunk of wood. Sacred. <laughs> now I have a swath of angry journalists to call, so if you'll excuse me. Sure thing. Tell Baba to take care of himself. Shouldn't he be playing baseball right now? Don't they play like a billion games? I don't know if they actually, I don't know if in Japan the, the circuit's quite as crazy. I don't even know how. I feel like they're always playing fucking baseball, man. It's like, it's like like 160 games a year, at least in like American baseball. Like that's silly, absolutely preposterous. Also, game time uh, potentially infinite. Now, so far, an infinite game of baseball has not happened, but theoretically, no more save slots. Theoretically, there is a save slot that exists if I just keep trying it. I don't know. I've never got baseball. I'm not really a sports person in general, but of the sports, of like major ones, I think baseball is like one of the lowest tiers. Games are too long. There's too damn many of them. That's mainly it. I mean, if baseball games are like 90 minutes, maybe then we're cooking. What time are we at, by the way? Um, you know what? Fuck it. Double club action. One of these days, Kiryu's gonna find the damn door. Alright then. You like to request a specific girl? No preference. No preference. Yes, sir. Please come this way. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is, uh... Arana. Man, she looks as old as Q. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Kick back, relax. I mean, that's like a good thing. Q shouldn't be fooling around with like 20-year-old girls anyway. They're not gonna have much in common. Um, Kazuma Kiryu, likewise. Oh, you're such a manly man, Kiryu san. Really, my type. You don't say. I love men who act big and strong, but they get gentle when they're alone with a woman. I don't know if Q's ever been alone with a woman. 
I mean... Because, I mean, there's like, you know, Yumi, who basically talked to like two times on screen before she died. And then there's Chick from Yakuza 2, who went off to her home planet never to be seen again. I don't think I'm like that. Really? Nobody has that cool when they're alone with the one they love. What was her name? I don't remember her name from Yakuza 2. You're from the Kansai area, aren't you? How long have you been in Kamurocho? Mmm, not that long. You still live in Kyoto. Were you a hostess in Kyoto too? That's right. How'd you know that? Uh, it's just something about you. You're so flashy. Reminded me of the hostesses I met in Osaka. You know I used to run a club? Wow, you've been to hostess clubs in Osaka too, huh? <laughs> but we Kyoto girls are more refined, as I'm sure you can tell. Uh... No comment. I've been requested. All right, well, just ditch us. Bye for now. I'm Chihiro, nice to meet you. Yeah, you said that. What up, it's your boy, Kazuma Kiryu. Kiyu-san! Are you new here? That's right. You can tell? Yeah, you shouldn't worry about it. Everyone was a beginner at some point, right? You can tell when a girl's been here for a while. She can pay attention to the smallest details while still having a natural conversation. <laughs> so you're saying I'm bad at my job? Yes. Yes. Parentheses, diplomatically. <laughs> you seem to have a lot of experience with hostess clubs. Maybe you can teach you a few things. Sure. Do you like to go to plays? Uh, not really. I watch dramas on TV, but I don't actually go to the theater. Oh. Uh, well, I want to become an actress. Really? You know, I was in a movie once. Yeah, yeah, that, that checks. You were? That's amazing! It wasn't a big deal. An actor got injured, so I stood in for him for a couple of scenes. That's still amazing! I'm so jealous. Anyway, quickly realized I'm not made to be an actor. Oh, that's too bad. But Q, you kind of are an actor, you know? You're an actor in, a, in what is actually a very long-running drama. Hello, I'm Maya. Kazuma Kiryu. Nice to meet you. Hi, Kiryu-san. It's nice to meet you, too. Maya's a cute name. Is it your working name? No, it's my real name, weirdo. Most people call me Maya Mori. Um... The hell? Is that what they say when you get a request? Is that what they say when you get a request? Uh, maybe the waiters say request for Maya Mori. You just have to request me to find out. Damn, she got her ass. Maybe I'll do that. Why does the spoon look so weird? Or the stirring rod? It's not really a spoon. It's just got like a little thingy on the top. I, mean, I guess it's a grip onto, but she's not really gripping onto it because it's a rod, you know? I mean, a straw doesn't need a special straw holdy thing. You're very fashion conscious, aren't you? Q's been wearing the same damn suit for almost 30 years. You think so? Yeah. Everybody should pay more attention to fashion once they're adults. As long as they have the money for it, of course. You keep an eye on that kind of thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of picky when it comes to clothes. <laughs> um, I just want you to say it. I like to dress casual I'm not working. Usually you can find me in the tropical shirt. In fact, it's the only suit I have. Oh, well, that's a nice one. A person's clothes can really affect the impression they give. And you make a great first impression. <laughs> Thanks. You look nice in that dress, too. Really? <laughs> Looks like a time is up. Oh, yeah. You're right. Okay. 
I'm Maya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wait, we already met. Maya Mori. Maybe I'll ask for her next time I'm here. Maybe. All my, all my wedding money gone. We're spending up the dowry. Be careful on your way home. Got a threat? There's a gang hunting us, by the way. Cell phone. Thank you for coming by today. Actually, I've just been thinking about quitting, but having met someone as wonderful as you, I think I'll hang in there a little while longer. Lol. What? It's got, no offense lady, that's got big who ass energy. We literally just met. It's all for two minutes. You changed my life. I'm not even gonna remember your name by the end of this video. Hey, are you the aqua guys? Cause you got the same, yeah. Hey old man, heard you messed up my boys real good, yeah? Time to show you what happens when you piss off the camera to aqua devils. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna be smiling when I show you the power of my gold bat. Ah, shit. Hit him a little Shabada. It's not as needed in this game, but sometimes you gotta break out the Shabada. Damn it, man, we're not giving up just yet. I mean, this dude's dead. Look how messed up his jacket is. Q, you straight killed that guy. He's got no blood left. All right, man, we're like so loaded with sub stories. There's like another one at Bantam now. I mean, I guess because it's like they, they front loaded all the story. I mean, I think we could have started the Yuya one in that brief period when we went to, before we went to Millennium Tower and it showed Majima getting arrested. But I was just trying to save the game and the game said, what if we threw you into a 20 minute cutscene, fucker? It was really kind of even longer because it was like a 10 minute or 15 minute cutscene followed by like a 15 minute cutscene. But we did get a chance to save eventually. And maybe it wasn't that many cutscenes, but it was, you know. You get the point. Alrighty, we will call it here. Next time we will continue having fun times with Kiryu. Do we have anything active? Just the Hostess Club stuff? We got at least... We haven't really... Well, yeah, also there's the Kamaki thing. We haven't really started Kiryu's presumable side story chain yet. Now, there is the, something at Stardust, so that could be for him. Like, if there's a follow-up there. Phantom also has a follow-up, so that could be something. But I can't really think of what follow-up there could be for Chickadee, so... So it's probably either going to Kamaki. And granted, there's also the baseball thing that has opportunity for more stuff. But so far, we haven't really had a sub story that screams, hey, this is going to be, uh, you know, the major chain that like the other ones did. Okay. Yes, I've saved three times in a minute. Oh, is that, does that intimidate you? Does my saving prowess uh, make you feel threatened? Well, it should. Can save with the best of them. <laughs> I'm extra cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.